the department here at Baylor was started uh, by Art Baudet and myself as we came down from the National Institutes of Heart and Lung. Art and I were never really collaborators a great deal in science. We pursued our independent uh, research careers, but we were joined at the hip, really, in developing uh, this department. We were supported by Michael DeBakey, whose uh, museum is behind us. Michael had operated on too many families with aneurysms and too many families with vascular disease to fully understand that genetics was at the basis of many of the disorders that he operated on. It was essential for us to expand in skills and also talents uh, the emerging technologies that were coming through in genetics. Richard Gibbs was one of the major factors. Richard brought automated DNA sequencing to the department, enabled many PhDs and many scientists. He also developed individual whole genome sequencing and also exon capture and discovered, of course, a number of disease genes along the way. Alan Bradley was transformative for the entire medical center with regard to mouse genetics. And then Juan Botas and Hugo Bellum brought in Drosophila. We had, in addition to that, the skills of biochemical uh, diagnostics, which was becoming a necessity as the department discovered more and more disease genes. And in that role, we had Bill O'Brien and, uh, and Ray Fenwick, who successfully established the first molecular diagnostic laboratory. Ed McCabe, who's down the list there, was in control of the uh, development of the clinical genetics. And Ed did a beautiful job and then went on to establish the rules and regulations for the American College of Medical Genetics.